This is the final update before I move on to other projects which will build upon the non-Tetris parts that were created here. Though not as large as the last update, there's still been a significant amount of additions and improvements and I'll go over the most important ones. The big one is the ability to customise the controls for the keyboard, mouse and gamepad. The way the new customise controls menu has to function is quite unlike the others, but I eventually managed to get it working within the existing menu system while keeping its custom code entirely self-contained. Since the menus don't use the mouse cursor for selecting, the user could make navigation impossible by removing essential controls. So when this happens, the user will be taken to that blank control to insert a new input. You can also now choose from three different options for what the left and right analog sticks do on the gamepad. Menu options can make use of an apply cancel state when changing their selected item. Just set the checkbox for the option and everything will be taken care of automatically. Despite seeming like a simple idea, this ended up being kinda tricky to implement. So you'll see that the old code has become quite a bit more elaborate. And the last enhancement for the menus is the ability to make selections and changes with the motion controllers in VR. You'll probably have noticed that, at last, I researched and implemented a better lighting solution as well as clouds using volumetric fog, which interacts with the sun's directional light. This is based on a talk given last year by an Unreal team member and it's well worth a look if you're interested in the subject. And finally, the project has moved back to using deferred rendering. The features of forward rendering haven't improved much since I switched over and the main reason for doing so was improved VR performance. But now the game has proper display and graphics options. So this is an issue that's completely within the control of the user. <laughs>